the face you see before you may in all possibility be many hundreds of thousands of years old, made by a forgotten ancestor. It may also be part of a complex code, a story which several great minds have spent over a hundred years quietly attempting to decipher. In 1872, on the shores of Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire, a miraculous discovery was made. An egg was found, an egg like no other. With an origin or age which has never been publicly disclosed, it was found by workers digging a hole for a fence post on the shores of this enormous lake. Seneca Ladd, a Meredith businessman who had hired the workers, would be subsequently given credit for the discovery. Analysis concluded that the stone was a type of quartzite, derived from sandstone, a type of rock not local to the area. What is astonishing regarding its creation, however, is the fact that it was made using as yet unknown but highly advanced ancient technology. In 1994, a boriscope analysis of the stone's holes was performed by state archaeologist Richard Boisvert, who reluctantly concluded that the holes had been drilled using some form of power tool. Scratches discovered in the lower boreholes also suggested that it was placed on some type of metal shaft and removed several times during the engraving process. Several researchers have also postulated that it could have once been a thunderstone. Throughout ancient Africa, Europe and even Asia, flint arrowheads and axes were often turned up during farm ploughing. These unexplainable objects were believed to have fallen from the sky. They were often thought to be the remnants of thunderbolts, and thus called thunderstones. However, there is a far more compelling tale which can be told, a tale which has taken nearly a century to decipher, a story of our Earth from those who lived upon it before catastrophe. This stone could indeed turn out to be one of the most important fragments regarding the unravelling of the true history of our Earth. A lengthy description of the specific methods and indeed reasoning behind this translation will be in a link in the description. Here is their story. We were a complative people who lived on planet 7,910 miles in diameter. It turned at a fixed rate around a sun with a diameter of 864,000 miles, and this place we called home. We measured our world and the heavens with rays of longitude. It was perfection. Our lives were complete until the day the meteorites came. Then the comets struck. We saw them arrive. Two impacted our planet, our home. The earth was shucked like an ear of corn. The surface turned red. The planet was raked and burnt, the ground split asunder, the mountains spewed forth with flames, the people and all that lived here were engulfed by the oceans. Nothing was spared, the deluge was upon the land. We swam and swam and watched the animals drown. We swam and swam until we could not hold on. We all perished. Our homes, our peace, our happiness, our knowledge, all gone. We remember, we lament, we remember, we lament. They will return. The danger is all around us.